Hey everybody, Ryan here from My Fishing Cape Cod, and I'd like to give you a full Cape Cod fishing report. So in this video, we'll start by providing you with some of the latest news from the My Fishing Cape Cod community. Then we'll move into a freshwater fishing report. Then we'll move into a saltwater fishing report. And finally, at the very end of this video, I'll give you my forecast, what I think we can look forward to over the next week to two weeks. So first off, I wanna let you know that the My Fishing Cape Cod clothing and apparel pre-sale is going to end on Friday, this Friday, November 20th. So if you are interested in getting some sweatshirts, hats, like this one right here, in time for the holidays, then please go to myfishingcapecod.com and in the main navigation menu under categories, you can scroll over to store. Give that a click and you'll see what's available. If you're a member of myfishingcapecod.com, you can use your discount code to get free shipping on all orders, no matter where you live. Even if you're out in California, you can use that discount code and we'll ship it to you for free. So again, clothing, hats, the deadline in order to get them for the holidays is this Friday, November 20th. The next item I want to talk about is the latest content that we've had go up on MyFishingCapeCod.com. So if you've checked out the website this past week, you may have noticed that there's a brand new post about my first experience smoking bluefish. Now, if you've ever eaten bluefish before, or filleted bluefish, you'll notice that the meat can be a little oily, especially the bigger bluefish. However, when you smoke a bluefish, all of that oil, all that fishiness turns into delicious goodness. It really is quite a transformation that the bluefish undergoes. And in this recent post, I outline everything from catching the bluefish. I had an awesome trip this past summer with my wife Lauren in the tin boat and we encountered some pretty, I'd say epic striper and bluefish topwater feeds. And we obviously caught and kept some of those bluefish, brought them home, and for the first time I used a Cuisinart smoker that my in-laws, my mother-in-law and father-in-law, Steve and Carol, gave me for my birthday. And the smoker, I'll leave all the steps. If you wanna give this a try, you can read the post. But in general, it's a pretty simple theory. You put charcoal at the bottom, some wood chips to get some good smoke going, a pan of water for some steam so the fish fillet doesn't dry out too much. And you let it smoke. I let it smoke in my driveway for about six or seven hours at around 175, 200 degrees. And the result was an absolutely delicious, it almost tastes like a, a ham that you would have during the holidays. And we, we took it one step further and we made a bluefish pate, which is awesome for dipping. So again, I don't know what the holidays, how many parties there'll be with COVID this year, but the bluefish pate makes an excellent little cracker side appetizer type dish. And I really recommend you give it a try. I've also shared two days ago, I shared a new clip of stripers attacking a white fly underwater and I actually for members gave some tips about how I was able to capture this footage and this footage will be part of season four of my fishing Cape Cod TV which I'm in the process of editing now specifically the recent video that I put up on myfishingcapecod.com will be used in an episode that I filmed with Ian Bragdon of the Goose Hummock Shops during this episode, it was May 21st, we headed out again in my little tin boat and we fished the flats of Cape Cod Bay. We fished the start of the incoming and Ian used a sinking line with a white fly to catch schoolies from one of the most magnificent spots anywhere on Cape Cod. And if you've been to the flats of Cape Cod Bay or the flats off Monomoy, especially at low tide, and seen those sandbars, then you know what I'm talking about. So that's gotta do it for the first part of this report, the latest news from the My Fishing Cape Cod website, smoking bluefish post, 
new underwater footage. And again, the deadline for clothing is this Friday, November 20th. Moving on, we're going to talk about freshwater fishing. And I'll start by giving my own report. I've been doing a fair amount of largemouth bass fishing over the last two weeks. I started by fly fishing for largemouth bass. I use a little five weight setup again that I got from the goose hummock shops with a floating line. And I found largemouth bass that had congregated in the sunny side of the pond during the afternoon. The sun was beaming down on this small little cove. And there were largemouth bass just hanging out in this cove. And I've been returning to that cove. I've been back twice since that trip. Four days ago, I went down there and I used a dart spin. It's a soft plastic lure, and this one has got a chartreuse spinner. Obviously, it, it looks similar to a shiner. The difference is the body here on this soft plastic is extremely durable. You can really use this to even catch bluefish if you wanted to. That's just a 15 pound monofilament leader to 15 pound braid. And I got a really nice one four days ago, along with another dozen large mass. The water at the pond that I've been fishing has been pretty low, and I'm guessing that's the case at most of the ponds around Cape right now. Now, I'm not the only one who's been doing freshwater fishing. Quite a few members in our forum have been scoring from the ponds recently. And I just logged into the forum this morning, and I saw a new post from Billy Mitchell. It looks like he got some beautiful brown trout and a rainbow trout over the weekend fishing one of the ponds on Cape. So whether you're fishing off Cape or on Cape, a lot of the ponds have been stocked with trout, the large mouse are biting, and it's just a great time to be out there. There aren't a lot of people at the ponds right now as opposed to during the summer. So it's an awesome time to just have some peace and quiet, experience some tranquility, see what's left of the fall foliage, and you're definitely going to have a good chance of scoring rainbow trout, brown trout, largemouth bass, and many other of the freshwater species. So moving on to saltwater, I'm happy to report that there's still plenty of stripers around. I haven't heard about any real big fish, but I logged into the My Fishing Cape Cod forum this morning, and Tyler Martin and Aaron Benzaman have been catching some nice stripers from the canal. The guys down at the canal recently have been using Savage Sand Eels. So this is actually a Joe Bags Sand Eel. And this is a five ounce, but something in the four or five ounce range that will get down to the bottom. That's what's been working recently down at the canal. Now moving to the beaches, quite a few members from the website are still out there hitting the surf. There's a crew inside the forum known as the Beach Boys. And Mike Marcus, Dave Lane and several others have been doing quite well from the beach all November, but even the last couple of days, they've been finding some good action along the Cape Cod Bay beaches. I'm not sure exactly what they've been using for lures. However, I'd wager a guess that a one ounce bucktail jig with a red curly tail is probably producing. I'm not sure about the South Side or Buzzards Bay, but if there are fish in Cape Cod Bay, if there are some fish in the canal, then I would wager a bet that there are still stripers in Buzzards Bay and down along the south side. I'm not sure about the Outer Cape beaches. The last report I've heard from the Outer Cape was from over a week ago, but that could be worth a shot as well. One member that's been fishing from the beach this week with that same crew is Ben Mahana. And you'll see that this fish is pretty good size. It, it might be a slot size fish. So not all of the stripers that are here are schoolies. The vast majority of them are of course going to be small, but there are some bigger ones trickling in. Several years ago, I got a 25 pounder during the first week of November in the canal. And I do know some people who have caught fish in the 20 to 25 pound range as late as Thanksgiving weekend. So don't give up hope if you're hoping to score one or two more nice striped bass before most of them migrate south for the winter. Now, aside from stripers, there's been some very nice tautog caught and you can catch blackfish well into November. And one of our members, 
very active on the website, Leslie Kalinowski had a great trip this past weekend fishing with her brother. They were using four ounces of weight in Buzzins Bay to get that jig, get that crab right to the bottom. Now, if you've never fished for Tautog before, they are extremely fun to catch. They put up a tremendous fight and they're also very good eating. And we have some recipes that my wife Lauren has published on myfishingcapecod.com for Tautog. So it's just another fish that you can check out right now, especially if you're going out into Buzzards Bay. Bluefin tuna are still popping around and tuna fishing can remain good right through December, believe it or not. And my dad and I have hooked tuna during the first week of December. It's not unusual at all to encounter some really nice feeds throughout the month of November. And as we move towards Thanksgiving, if we get some nice calm days, I wouldn't be surprised at all if people do well on bluefin tuna. Now this past weekend, based off of the intel that I've gathered from myfishingcapecod.com, it seems like there's been some recreational size fish popping up from Stellwagen Bank down towards Provincetown and along the backside of the Cape. Now these fish have been a little finicky based off of the intel that's coming my way as they've been feeding on very small butterfish. When the tuna are on butterfish, because butterfish are so small, the tuna can be agonizingly finicky to catch. A couple of years ago, I had a pretty epic trip up on Stellwagen Bank when the tuna were on butterfish. I was with Captain Phil and the crew from the Goose Hummock on his big contender, and we were casting small strategic angler lures, and we were able to fool bluefin tuna in the 50 inch, 60 inch size class. It was really something. There was almost a mile of tuna that were just rolling on these butterfish. And they were extremely finicky. We couldn't get them to bite really anything else except for those small butterfish style lures, or we used extremely small tinker mackerel and Phil hooked up using a very, very small tinker mackerel. So right now, if you're chasing those recreational tuna, I think your best bet is to go small with your offerings. The people who have been drifting live mackerel out there over the last few days have also been reporting some catches of poor beagles, which are pretty impressive. So if you're looking for more information about this, you can log on to myfishingcapecod.com. If you're a member, that'll give you access to our forum where you can gather some more intel. Now looking forward to the next couple of weeks here. Obviously the freshwater fishing is going to remain pretty strong. As the temperatures drop and the ponds cool, the trout ought to become even more active than they already are. And the largemouth bass, pickerel, smallmouth bass, yellow perch, they're in there. So you're obviously gonna have a good chance of getting them as long as the ponds don't develop a layer of skim ice. Now, if you're looking for freshwater gear, tackle, and advice, if you go to the main navigation menu and go under species, you can access our freshwater database that has all of our videos and articles. Also inside the forum, we have an excellent thread called Trout Time 2020-2021, where you can get some daily updates on what our members are finding out there. You can also go to the Goose Hummock Shops in Orleans and talk to the friendly staff down there. Eric, Phil, Jan, Sam, and all their other employees are more than willing to help you get rigged up to have a successful off season of freshwater fishing here on the Cape. As I mentioned earlier, bluefin tuna will be an option as long as the weather continues to be relatively calm. Right through Thanksgiving, early December, you'll have a chance at bluefin tuna. Striped bass, I would expect the schoolies to remain for at least another week, maybe two weeks if we're lucky. And then some of them will, of course, hold over in the estuaries here on Cape. Tautog, you can still go out this week and have a good chance. I've never fished for Tautog late in November, so I don't have much experience with Tautog later in the month, but they're still here based off of the reports that I'm getting. Aside from that, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I will include some helpful links to content on myfishingcapecod.com. 
below so you can access additional information. And of course, to get the best of everything that we have to offer, I'd like to invite you to join our membership community on MyFishingCapeCod.com if you haven't done so already. Until the next video, tight lines, take care, and have a great week of fishing.